Yeah. Our brains are so intricate and so complicated and so mm. diverse that there is no way that mental health can ever be considered as not existing. Yeah. Mm. Something that I quite like struggle talking about is mental health. Mm. Not only is it because myself, but I know like my mum deals with really bad mental health really? and she struggles really bad with depression. And it's not really something I'm it's not really something I'm open about because mm. just for her own sake. I think like from now on I should actually try and talk about it a lot more because I know not only me mum, but I struggle with mental health as well. And you girls probably mm. do. Mm. Like, what is it with mental health that you struggle with? Because there's so many different kinds of it. I feel like there is, like, a stigma around it all, isn't it? Yeah. But I feel do. like a lot of people are, like... Like, I don't know, I feel like more people are talking about it now though. Yeah. Do you know what I mean? Because it's like, I've got anxiety, I get it really, really bad, and I know you do too. Mm -hmm. yeah. I think we all do. Yeah. There's times where I literally lock myself in my bedroom and mm. just cry, and I'm just like, why am I crying? Like, it's hard to deal with. Yeah, it's so hard. It's so hard to deal you with. You speaking about it makes it so much easier for someone to come forward. And I think that's what we have to remember, like, as being role models as such, when we put ourselves in the public eye, yeah. there's so many positive things that can be done with social media. There's so many yeah. negatives, but this is such a positive that mental health needs to be brought to the attention yeah. and we are the kind of people that can make it easier for women and men to be able to speak about it like just you saying that you'll help so I know, many people Liv, I literally um I put it on my story for the first time of the day mm. like I've, ne I've never opened like I've never said it on Instagram do you know what I mean and I had so many like messages yeah, like see. oh my god like I'm going for the same it's so nice to see like someone like like you was going mm. through it because like you look at my my page and I'm doing my happy Fridays and mm. I and yeah. I look happy do you know what I mean like I am happy I have like a lovely life like a gorgeous daughter but like there's times where I'm like hitting rock bottom do you know what of I mean course. Yeah. and like it's crazy how like I feel like Instagram can paint a different picture when I was slightly younger and I had a really bad relationship it kicked it kicked me into depression how basically old were you around? I was about 19 20 and I think at that point in my life I was struggling in any way I didn't know what to do with my life mm. had a rubbish job and lived on my own in, like in a council flat and I was just a bit lost yeah, yeah. and then because I was lost I started to just degrade myself and make myself feel worse and worse and just drinking every night, going out constantly. I had no respect for myself and that's where the depression and anxiety started yeah, to get really bad. Them. And then obviously, like I always say Love Island changed my life. Yeah. And I was saying to someone earlier about a book that I read that I need, I want everyone the secret. to read. No, it's oh, so similar that though. That changed my life. So I men similar. love bitches. No, it's called um, Chimp Paradox. Oh yeah, I have heard of this. It's the best the way that book. the chimp thing. Mm. Like you have your chimp brain and you have your human brain, and it just teaches what is you. That too? It's a theory. Oh, right, so okay. it just teaches you how to control a part of your mind that you feel like you don't have control over sometimes. The angel and the devil. Yeah. So like, oh, if I God. lose myself in, so my depression was sort of linked to me being so irri irritable mm. and so aggressive um, when I was younger. So then I learned how to control my aggression mm. through the chimp paradox and oh it really God. changed and me. And that's actually worked. Yeah, and so. then when I met Alex, it changed me more. And then I come off my antidepressants like three months ago. Oh, oh my yeah. God! Yay! <laughs> yeah. It's like oh. they all live. Yeah. I feel like, yeah. Oh, like, I know. Oh, Tom, yeah. don't want to cry. That's cute, but yeah, oh. that was like a massive I thing. remember speaking to you about it like when we first, oh. I met like, two, I think it was like yeah. two years ago when you were telling me. Yeah, like, so we met ages ago and like that. How do you feel now? I feel like more emotional and I think if I'd never had the fans and the people that like look after me and like look up to me, yeah, I stability. would never have gotten over it because oh. I've learned that you can talk about it even talking to you guys, yeah. like you can talk about it. in the minute you learn you can talk about it, that is the step to getting over it and my so friends true. have been so low as well and I think it's going through it with someone else yeah. has yeah. enabled me to just let it go and now like Alex is like the most proudest person ever because I'm not on the I'm proud. I'm proud. You were goals like seriously. Oh. <laughs> like, oh. But yeah like it's went through all of that but it's just it's so, so true you. like you can go through the like hell and back and you can come out the other side. Of course you can. Yeah. Yeah. There's always like at the end. Yeah there yeah, always is. Like, but yeah. yeah. Mental health can be so many different things. Anxiety, feeling happy, feeling sad, depression, like it can be. It can be aggressiveness, exactly. it can be irritation, it can be absolutely Our anything. Boost, yeah. Our brains are so intricate and so complicated and so mm -hmm. diverse that there is no way that mental health can ever be considered as not existing. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Because there is no way that a person can expect themselves to be 100%, 100% of the time. Of course not. Mm -hmm. And it's, it's so sad that 
the way social media has impacted on that is that we we put across these happy lives but there is parts that you don't put on Instagram yeah. because you don't really always want to put on something that's going to make other people feel yeah. rubbish or it's hard to yeah, show yourself in that sad way that light, but yeah. I think what's key is to remember like if I see you happy as Larry whatever I, I know that Possibly you're not. Yeah. Mm. And I think it's key that we all learn that that social media like is a yeah, is like a mm. but it's a it's a good front in a way because it's nice to portray happiness because like we said like, before, yeah. it's like the universe, you're calling out to the universe, yeah. you try and have those happy thoughts, but at the same time just because someone has a perfect life doesn't mean they're perfectly happy on the exactly. inside. Yeah. It's like, it's not, I'm not embarrassed. It's just, I don't, don't want to bother. Yeah. I, yeah, it's yeah. like, mm. that's the main thing. You don't want to bother people. And I think you need to talk about it because mm. if my friend told me I've got bad anxiety, I'd help them straight away. Yeah, you would. Yeah. I wouldn't care, but it's not going to ruin my day. Yeah. Yeah. It'll probably make your day just, better. Exactly. If you help someone, it always makes you feel better. And I think, yeah, it's not just girls. This is what upsets me the most is because I've, heard of seen experienced so many men around me or in my life that have struggled and mm. they don't know what it is because there's this stigma that men can't be insecure men yeah. Can't, yeah, can't be, be depressed upset. men they can't, can't have anxiety yeah. that's not true like mm. we're all made of the same thing just because you're a woman and he's a man does not mean that that's not a possibility yeah. so if you talk about it and you know you, you open your friends look i'm having a really down day mm. they can pick you up mm. yeah or like if you're saying i can't breathe today my heart's going really fast and i know sometimes i get that you know that butterfly feeling yeah. in your stomach that's like twisting over. Exactly, but if I talk about it, I forget it. Mm. Yeah. Because I talk about my friends and being open about with you girls. Yeah. Mm. If you are going through it as well, I'm like, it's not just me. Yeah. yeah. It's normal. It's it yeah. is normal. It's so normal.